questions. This was a killer idea called Will You Marry Me? And Charles and I, one of our floor ops guys, were talking about, uh, about getting married. And, and Charles was saying the whole concept in this idea is proposing during the Super Bowl. And Charles had this crazy idea about proposing during the Super Bowl, but it all went awry and we won't get into all the details. But in this case, the guy did it and it was really successful in how it happened. So let's take a look at this. First of all, his original idea that led to a buy of $20,000. I'll give you the details on it in just, in just a minute because that's such a cool freaking idea. This idea could be used for any big event year round. Anything that you're gonna have high viewership on, on your stations, think about Hockey Night in Canada, right? Anything that has high viewership, you could plug this concept into it and make it a sellable concept. Utilize the web to gain consumer contact information. So you had to go onto the website to register to be the person that actually got to propose during the Super Bowl. The ad created massive buzz in the community. So they got press in the community for this idea. And it was a great use of, of Super Bowl viewership with promos leading up to and after the big game. So let's talk about the details behind it. They found a jewelry client that held a contest prior to the Super Bowl with TV and online ads encouraging people to enter on the KLJB website. So this concept drove people to KLJB's website. The prize was a chance to propose in a commercial during the Super Bowl. And the jewelry company gave the, the person proposing, the, the gentleman proposing, they gave him a ring to present to his, his potential fiance uh, during the Super Bowl. The client spent $20,000, and again, Quad Cities, medium-sized medium market, $20,000 in the third quarter, including two Super Bowl spots, and they donated the ring for the person that was going to be giving it. Campaign had created incredible buzz on social media and local radio stations. Now, when this came in, I called Tony and I said, Tony, I watched the spot. I think you missed an opportunity here. And he said, you know what, Kenan? We did this exactly the way the client asked us to do it. This is how the client wanted it done. So I'm going to show you the spot. I'm going to come back and talk about how you might flip this around a little bit and make it even more compelling and gain further traction with this idea. So let's take a look now, if you will, at the three 30-second spots. Will you marry me, Tony Wilkins? Okay, so you know the big game on February 6th, the biggest football game of the year? Well, how would you like to rock our world in the game where everyone will see it? Necker's Jewelers and Fox 18 want to help with Will You Marry Me? You could win a super chance to bowl her over with a marriage proposal during the big game. You could rock her world with an engagement ring from Necker's Jewelers. Entering is easy. Just log on to KLJV.com and tell us why you should be picked. Make it good because the winner will be proposing in front of thousands. Will You Marry Me? Find out from Necker's Jewelers and Fox 18. Okay, so you remember the big game on February 6th, the biggest football game of the year? Well, one Quad City and got to rock her world in the game, where everyone saw it, Jeremy Smith of Mike. Jeremy is the big winner of the Will You Marry Me contest. He won a super chance to bowl her over with a marriage proposal during the big game. Autumn, will you marry me? Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. Yup, here you go. Congratulations, Jeremy and Autumn, from Necker's Jewelers and Fox 18. I rocked her world on her anniversary. I dropped it in the bubble. I rocked her world in front of her entire family. Her mom cried. I'm going to rock her world during the big game, and you're about to see it. Autumn, will you marry me? Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. Yup, here you go. What'd she say? <laughs> he just rocked her world. Brought to you by Necker's Jewelers and your Fox 18. All right, there's just a whole lot of things to talk about in this campaign. First of all, Jeremy, when you give your fiance the ring, you don't go, here you go, okay? That's a whole sidebar. Uh, you notice that they never called it the Super Bowl. There's a lot of alliteration to the Super Bowl but, and, and reference to the Super Bowl, but they never call it the Super Bowl because you're not allowed to. They called it the big game. They said that a super chance to bowl her over. So there's just great production values in that. Fun event, fun for the viewers, clearly fun for Jeremy and for his fiance. The, the only thing that we could think of that would have made this more powerful was to actually run a spot during the Super Bowl with him proposing and then say, tune in tomorrow night in our 6 o'clock news or in, in Seinfeld and Access or whatever you're running in Access, and we're going to run a 30-second spot with her response to his proposal. And that way you just extend it out a little bit further and people are kind of thinking, okay, is she going to say yes, is she going to say no? But at any rate, 
fabulous idea, great campaign, terrific production values, fun for the audience, it got press for them, the client loved the promotion, generated money. When you think about this campaign, you could probably pull other clients in as well, and it works in any market where you have any big time program where you're gonna have very, very high viewership.